State House Governor Gina Raimondo has taken executive action to ban flavored vaping products in the ocean state. And this ban is not as far reaching as the one Governor Charlie Baker signed from Massachusetts just yesterday, but it comes amidst protests outside the State House from people concerned for their vaping businesses and their health. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh was there as the governor signed this order, and she joins us now live from the State House with what this means moving forward. Kate? Well, Mike and Steve, Governor Raimondo said she wanted to make it clear that this executive order and ban is all about protecting children. So that means these vaping stores will be allowed to stay open, but they will be limited with what they sell. Many of the products, the governor said, is targeted at children to start getting addicted to smoking. Starting next week, flavored vaping products will be banned from stores in Rhode Island. This is a serious issue, getting more serious every single day. And I don't think we can wait, so that's why I've decided to act and act with the urgency that I think it requires. Eyewitness News was there as Governor Gina Raimondo signed an executive order directing the Department of Health to immediately issue emergency regulations that will last 120 days with a potential 60-day extension. It's dangerous for our kids. We're seeing people get hurt and they're getting hooked on nicotine products at 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. Department of Health Director Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott said the ban likely won't go into effect until sometime next week. Rhode Island vaping stores will still be open, but only allowed to sell e-cigarettes and tobacco products that are not flavored. There's no word yet on if menthol will be included in the ban. Before the governor's signing, vaping supporters protested outside, concerned what any ban would mean for their business. The biggest consideration is going to be the loss of over 200 jobs. Uh, and not only the 200 jobs, but people having over a quarter of a million dollars worth of merchandise in their stores that have a shelf life. I hear that. I do hear that. I listen. You know, when you make a decision, you listen to all constituents. But I have to put the health and safety of our children first. We've saw, seen a lot of responses on social media, and the governor said there will be a period of public input in the future when they consider permanent solutions moving forward. New at 6 o'clock tonight, I asked them if they're concerned at all that this will now mean more products on the black market and more people making concoctions for their vapes at home. You'll hear that answer new at 6 tonight. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. As followed Massachusetts lead in ordering a ban on certain vaping products. We have team coverage at six. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell is standing by. First, I would assume reporter Kate Walsh joins us live from Providence to explain the ban and the concerns health officials have about it. Kate. Well, Stephen, Mike, the ban here in Rhode Island is different from that in Massachusetts that was signed by Governor Baker yesterday. In Massachusetts, the ban is on all vaping products for at least the next four months, where here in Rhode Island, that ban is only on flavored vaping products, which means stores will be able to open still. They'll just be limited on what they can sell. It's time to protect our kids. Effective next week, flavored vaping products will be banned from Rhode Island. Governor Gina Raimondo signed executive action Wednesday afternoon, directing the Department of Health to immediately issue emergency regulations that will last 120 days with a potential 60-day extension. The electronic cigarettes and tobacco products will still be available, and adults who are using them to quit smoking, that will still be readily available. DOH Director Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott said to date there have not been any reported lung injuries from vaping in Rhode Island, but the Centers for Disease Control has reported 530 cases in 38 states. All of these lung illnesses that have been reported over the last month have, can be traced back to THC cartridges, black market, not legitimate THC companies. 1-800-QUIT-NOW is the phone number that people can call where there are a number of services um, that are available to people who are looking to uh, quit. Um, we hope that that will be a mechanism that will help prevent against moving into the black market. Now, there's a question as to what is considered a flavor that will be banned, and the Department of Health was asked if menthol will also be considered a flavor that will be banned. They said they'll be looking into that ahead of the ban going into effect sometime next week. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.